Hello everyone. Welcome back to the session. This is the fifth video in this series, and now we are going to create the build pipeline and generate the artifacts. We can use the classic editor without using the YAML files. Our source code is present in our Azure repo Git. So, we can choose the first option here. Select the project, repo and branch and then continue. Let's take an empty job. We will not get any build and templates as we are doing all these custom deployments. Choose the agent specification to Ubuntu because we are going to use our Ubuntu Docker image. Now we can add tasks to our agent job one by one. First we need to do is, we will copy and keep the ARM template files for release. Secondly, copy our source code folder and keep it for release pipeline. And third and the final step is to push the artifacts for release. We can combine our first and second options if needed. But in many cases, these two folders may not be in the same directory. Or there may be many other directories present in the same directory. That is the reason why I am keeping two different tasks, one for ARM template folder to copy and the other one for source code folder. Let's add the first task to the agent job. Search for a task, copy files task and add it to the agent jobs. Change the job name to copy arm template. So, we can easily understand what this job is going to do. In the copy file task, the first option to choose from where your source file or folder is. We can click on the three dots, which will open a model pop-up, where we can choose the file from our branch repository. Our files are present in the ARM template folder. So let's select it. Next field is dimension, what all contents are to be added into the artifacts. We need to copy all the files in the ARM template folder. Next field is the target folder. This states that where we need to store our copied files. We can use the build in pipeline variables as the root folder, and then we can keep another folder with the name ARM templates. This will keep the target folder also similar to our source folder. Now let's add our source code folder to the artifacts folder. Choose the task file copy job for this too. We can name the task as copy source code. Choose the source code folder, similar to how we did for ARM templates. Click on the three dots and select the source code folder. Keep all contents. No changes required. Next field is target, where we can keep the root folder slash source code, same folder structure as our source folder. Now let's add the final job for the build pipeline. Which is nothing but the push build artifacts. Reason to push the files into artifacts is, when we are in the release pipeline, we will not have access to the repository. So, we need to keep all the required files in the artifacts. Each build will have its own build number, and we can release those builds to any stages. Stages are like dev, prod etc. In push artifacts job, we don't require to make any changes. Change our build pipeline name to whatever we want. Now let's save and queue. It's good to build one time before we set up our release pipeline, so that we can easily refer our artifacts file. One more thing, which we can do in build pipeline, is to enable continuous integration trigger. So that, whenever there is a change in the source code like our node application changes or ARM template changes, it automatically deploy the modifications to Azure. Okay, we'll see the pipeline history. Cool, our build is in progress. Let's go and see the build, which is running. build is completed very fast and we can see our artifacts. We can see the artifacts here as well. Here, we can see our ARM templates and source codes are kept inside the drop folder which can be used in our release pipeline. That's it for this session. In the next session, we will be creating the release pipeline. See you there.